Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, first of the field work to be done. We're allowed to drive, so YouTube likes to take these videos then, but... Uh, can you guess what I'm at? Rolling. It's a, it's a nice job. It's satisfying because you're up and down, putting in lines. Uh, the point of rolling, if anybody doesn't know, if, there's, if you have cattle out in the fields laid on in the air, their hooves, whenever the ground gets wet, hooves will go in and make a load of marks. So you roll over the top, the roller has water in it, so it has a bit of weight to it. And then uh, that puts the stones down. And also, if tracks in the soil from tractors or that driving, it'll take that out as well. So probably worthwhile doing because if you're cutting silage and the more hits stone and it goes through the more racks the more and then it comes to the wagon through the wagon racks the wagon you can see where I'm going it's a worthwhile job to do so I have the lovely job of doing it uh, just trying to get it sorted out I'm gonna practice doing stripes in this field if you don't know what stripes are, you'll see it in a wee bit. It's where it's like one side looks green and the other looks like a white green. It leaves it looking nice, but just to get it started. Right, first bit of rolling done. Can you see it? Anyway, see you in the morning and we'll do some more. Hello everybody. Day two of rolling. It's diesel, we've water, we've oil. We've the roller on, gates open. Uh, so, we'll be it on to the field. Go up to the top ditch, top headland, and we get set up and ready to go. So here's our setup for the day. We got the 4240 on the roller. See, whenever you have the cattle out in the winter, the grass is soft, the hoof marks. So, so no GPS. So we're gonna try and keep it as straight as I can. Wide. So we'll go up here, we we'll measure six yards. I'll leave two runs up against the ditch. So go from see it's very needs a good run. Oh Jesus. Don't come in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So Post there, I want the edge of the roller to be in line with that. Keep it straight the whole way up the field. Have a plan here. I've been given a plan. So this here's my first run. That yellow line is the ditch. So that'll be the third run because first is up. Second is down, third is up. So, let's see if can I stick to that. So now I need to pick a gap in the ditch and head straight for that 
gap because the wheel kind of goes out that way. Keep her straight as I Right, I have been told to turn left and leave six yards. There's not even that much grass and it probably won't even do the effect because cattle are on this lace so while well eating down you think there's sheep on it. It's that well sculled. This is sort of where we're at against the ditch on the other side. But I have more downs than ups. So the feel either I did it wrong, which I know I did because I've had two stripes where it's both dark green side by side, so it's not a hundred percent perfect, but it's going alright. Two and a half mile an hour, just trying to leave a good stripe. A full stripe, not like yesterday where it was half stripes, but trying to learn as we go. But she is sort of tap, starting to take shape, you can see the bit of stripes. But if you had a good crop of grass on it, you'd see it more. It's something to do with the underside of the grass leaf is a whitey colour and the top is the dark green so if you roll it each way in different directions it goes like a white and a dark green the lines aren't too straight either but if, uh, if it's all rolled it's not so bad there's not going to be many people see it well, apart from whoever watches the video like Last wee stripe. Now we're just heading straight out the gate, straight across the lane, just out there, into the next field. But I think they're putting on the drinker now, so we'll run around there now for a couple of minutes, see how they're getting on, and then we'll be back to finish. Actually, do that field out the far side. Oh. All right. 
it just didn't go too too according to plan if, if you know what I mean if you don't know what I mean I'll show you what I mean so the idea is to just get it all leveled out it doesn't fill the holes but if you level it out but it should be like this or it should be white stripe green stripe white stripe green stripe so it's going well the whole way up to that's a white stripe green stripe green stripe another bit of green and then white green green white it's supposed to be every other one is green white green white green white but be all right it's not too bad but the field isn't square so go over here see how they're getting on then we'll get back to ruling yeah, ruling is fairly important uh, it's not you don't have to do we're doing it this year cattle were out later than usual and the, there was heifers there we didn't take in they were on this field that I'm on and the first or the second field that I done first field today so with them being out later the ground was a bit softer they've left hoof marks the hooves have gone in into the ground a wee bit deeper than usual and then that would have that's brought up a couple of stones in places and it's made it very uneven so the job of the ruler is just a solid well it's not solid it's hollow but it, there's water in it so that's extra weight in it it's a cylindrical shape, so that goes over the top of the ground and it'll push it all back in level. comment down below if you have any questions on today's video. I hope you enjoyed. First of the field work done. I'll see you in the next one.